Okay, face products for wine, I love that. Good, so <clears throat> before we get started, I just want to tell you all about a mindful technique for helping cope with, helping yourself cope with anxiety. I am hearing more and more how anxious people are feeling. Um, some people feeling great, some people feeling anxious, some people kind of, it seems to be coming in waves. It's a simple mindfulness technique and it's an acronym and it's called STOP. And you can use it during your meditation as well. So this is why I want to mention it to you before we start. The S stands for STOP. When you notice that you are getting anxious, when you notice that your thoughts are drifting away into this territory of analytical thought or worrying or whatever it might be, stop. Edward, I really want you to hear this. I'm very glad you've joined us. Welcome. Um, a, a mindful tool for quelling anxiety. It's an acronym. It's called STOP. The S stands for STOP. And that's what you do as soon as you notice that you're starting to fall into that pattern of um, negative thoughts, of worry, of anxiety, of panic, of overanalyzing. You stop. The T stands for take a deep breath. Okay, so you stop, you take a deep breath. The O stands for observe. You observe what's going on. So if this is in your meditation practice, it's exactly the same thing. You simply witness what's going on. Where are your thoughts taking you? If it's in your day away from your meditation practice, same thing. You notice what's happening. You stop, take a deep breath, and then you observe. You observe what your patterns are. You observe if there's anything new that's coming up or if it's the same stuff that usually comes up. You recognize what it's bringing about in your body. You recognize whether there is tension accompanying this thought process or whatever it is that's happening for you, whatever it is that you're observing, noticing a connection between your body and your mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then the P is to proceed with compassion and with more mindfulness. So simple, simple, simple. I invite you to try it out during our sitting now. Um, simple as that. Let me know if you use it during your meditation practice today. Let me know if you use it at any point during today. And if you remember it at any point during the week that lies ahead, please let me know how it works for you. I find it to be incredibly helpful and it's used a lot by psychologists and therapists in cognitive behavioral therapy to work with yourself. You can say the word stop and with us on our own in our homes, it's wonderful that we can actually say it or you can even shout it. You are often encouraged to yell it. The sense of just stop already. So see how you get on. And um, let's get going with our meditation practice then. <clears throat> sitting tall, sitting comfortably, maybe taking one or two deep breaths as you close your eyes, if that's what you're doing. I encourage you to sit up tall, Oh, the P stands for proceed. Proceed with compassion. And listening out for the sound of the singing bowl. When you hear the sound, taking a deep breath in and keep that in breath going for as long as you can hear the sound. And then holding your breath for as long as you can before gently breathing out. As you hold your breath, let your body be soft. And we'll do that three times. <clears throat> Holding your breath 
when you're at full capacity and softening your shoulders as you hold your breath. So you are sitting at ease with the breath held inside the body. And then gently releasing that breath when you need to. A slow, gentle breath out. Take as many natural breaths as you need to before the next chime of the singing bowl. Breathing in slowly. As you hold the breath inside the body, see if you can really relax your shoulders, relax your face, relax all the muscles around your eyes and your mouth. Gently breathing out when you need to. Gently, gently, gently. Settling into a natural rhythm with your breath. Sitting tall, you can be cross-legged or sitting on a cushion or a bench or a chair. Feeling the base of the body supported by whatever it is that you're sitting on. Feeling your spine beautifully long as the crown of your head reaches up towards the sky. The chin slightly tucked in, so the back of the neck is lengthened. The jaw is relaxed. The muscles around the eyes and the mouth are soft. And you might even want to turn up the corners of your mouth ever so slightly. So there's a gentle inner smile. Feeling that your brain is given the opportunity to relax for a moment. Feeling that your shoulders are dropping down away from the ears, a gentle opening into the heart space, maybe even a gentle squeezing of the shoulder blades towards each other. Perhaps that works for you, just so that there's a bit of an opening through the heart. <sighs> Your arms are beautifully relaxed. Your hands are either folded in your lap or fingertips touching or hands resting on the thighs. Palms down, palms up, doesn't matter. Do what feels natural, authentic. Just you, not how you think you should be, just what feels good for you. Feeling that your belly is soft, you can relax all those muscles around your navel. <sighs> and becoming aware of your inner gaze. Maybe turning your inner gaze upwards towards the point between the two eyebrows. Or if your eyes are open, just gazing at a point one to two meters ahead of you or in the far distance if you're outside. Maybe you want to just fix your attention on a particular point. The eyes are soft. You're gazing through your eyelashes if your eyes are open. And taking a few breaths here. Allowing yourself to fully show up in your meditation practice. And checking in with yourself, 
Where are you today? In your heart? In your head? So even here, stopping, using that technique, stopping, taking a deep breath, observing what's going on for you in this moment, softening into any areas of tension, turning your attention away from any self-limiting thoughts, and proceeding with compassion as you return your attention to your breath to the softening of your body or whatever your anchor may be today. Allowing your breathing to be completely natural. So there's a sense of not trying to be anything or do anything other than just here. Just showing up for yourself. How are you right here, right now? Beneath all the layers of worry and uncertainty, the dynamics around interpersonal relationships, all the pressures of life, just suspending all of that for a moment, seeing whether it's possible to dive deep beneath the surface. All those fluctuations of the mind, and seeing whether you can use these precious moments of stillness to tap into the essence of you. Remembering the simple mindfulness technique, the acronym STOP. Every time you notice that your thoughts are leaning into the future or dwelling in the past, notice what's going on when you stop. Taking a deep breath, observing any tension that may show up in your body, in your mind, your heart, as a result of these thinking patterns. Softening as you realize that those are all just the choppy waves on the surface. And as you proceed with compassion, maybe diving a little bit deeper into the still, deep, beautiful waters of your true self. Resting your attention in the breath. The simple rhythmic process of the body breathing you. Perhaps finding that one particular point in your body where you're most aware of your 
your breathing. And returning your attention there every time you find that you're drifting away in thought. Being aware of breathing in as you breathe in. And being aware of breathing out when you breathe out. Letting go of any attempt to control this experience. <coughs> Excuse me. Not trying to breathe in a certain way, but just letting your body breathe. Being completely aware of where tension is showing up in your body. Knowing that that is a perfectly normal part of this practice of becoming still. And noticing that it's only when we allow ourselves to soften into those areas of tension that we're going to start catching those glimpses of the true essence of our being. That unbelievable stillness that lies within every single one of us. Staying with the practice every time you find that you're drifting away in thoughts, all those narratives that our brain knows so well, all those paths that we like to travel because they're familiar, we simply notice our patterns, the patterns of thought, the patterns of tension in the body. We are becoming more and more familiar with ourselves and all the ways that we keep ourselves away from experiencing our true self. And with the greatest amount of patience and compassion, we keep returning to this practice of just sitting and softening and accepting whatever is arising not good, not bad. Practicing impartial awareness as we settle into this moment, whatever it's holding for us. And noticing how we absolutely possess the capacity to soften into whatever is showing up for us. If we do so gently, consciously, with commitment, with perseverance, with a huge amount of compassion.
remembering the acronym STOP. When you realize that your attention has drifted away from the present moment, consciously saying to yourself, STOP. Taking a deep breath. which can help bring you right back into the present moment. Observing. Observing the patterns of the mind. Observing the patterns of the body. Where are you tensing up? Softening into areas of tension. and proceeding with compassion. No judgment, no criticism. Just an increased self-awareness. Taking a deep breath in and sighing it out through an open mouth. You can keep your eyes closed if you want to perform the cupping practice, rubbing your palms together. Nice and briskly until you feel some beautiful heat being generated between your palms and then cupping your hands over your closed eyes and gently opening your eyes into the warmth of your hands, rolling the eyes all the way up, all the way down, all the way right, all the way left, top right, bottom left, top left, bottom right, all the way up, all the way down, center forward, releasing your hands gently. Thank you for joining me. <sighs> Welcome, I see a number of you joined a little bit after I was noticing who joined. Edward, you were one of them, Catherine, Roseanne, Wall. Rabia, beautiful, welcome all. 
If you missed any of the meditation, remember it will be live on my stories for the next, I don't know if it's 30, uh, 24 or 48 hours. Um, and then all, almost all of these meditations are uploaded on my YouTube channel as well, which is Meta365 Coaching and Mentoring. So I'm curious as to whether anyone used that little technique during today's meditation and if they did, how they found it. And I thank you. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Lindy. Thanks, Irina. I um, really encourage you to make a mental note of that, maybe even writing on a post-it note somewhere. Um, stick it up in your house if you want to, just that reminder. Well, you did miss it. So, um, okay, Nikki, sorry, first you, half past seven. Oh, yes, of course. So it's a public holiday, so we'll do half past nine again. All right, um, thank you for asking. <laughs> All my preamble about taking rest. Yes, tomorrow will be half past nine. Well, stop is the most amazingly simple and effective um, mindfulness practice. It stands for stop. So the S is for stop. It's actually stopping when you notice that you are doing your thing of wandering away in your mind. The T is to take a deep breath. The O is observe what's happening, what's happening around you. And it's not actually just about what's happening within you. So it's not just about your thought process or your the tension that maybe shows up in your body. It's also about what's going on around you. So, you know, if you're noticing that you're getting super stressed out, um, stop, take a deep breath, observe. Maybe it's in your environment. Look around in your home. Maybe there is... My big trigger is too much stimulation, too much noise. So the T, sorry, the O is to observe what's going on, what's making you freak out. Is it external? Is it internal? What's happening? And then the P is to proceed with compassion. And that might involve softening into your body. It might involve compassion towards the people that are around you that are freaking you out. Compassion towards yourself choosing to act in a way that is going to bring you a little bit more ease. So yeah, S, stop, T, take a breath, O, observe, and P, proceed with compassion. So it's a, it's a mindfulness technique I learned many years ago. And then on the most recent coaching course that I did, they referred to it there as well. So it's actually a tool that is used not just in yoga, mindfulness, that sort of more esoteric practice, but also in corporate coaching, executive coaching, life coaching, etc. Great, Edward, you like that one. That's wonderful. It's, it's nice and easy to remember as well, isn't it? Um, that's great. I'm glad that you found that helpful. I'm really glad you showed up. So all of you, thank you for, thank you for being here. Any other feedback? Um, Questions, comments, who have we still got here? Okay, so there's still a bunch of us online. So cool. Where is everyone? I know, well, you're in Dubai. Kat, where are you? Arina, I know where you are. Carolina, I know where you are. Irma, where are you? Christelle, I think you're in Staley's. Lundis or Lundis, please tell me. And where are you? Ellen, where are you? Shiraz Bouli, we know you're not in Wales, so you're in Cape Town, aren't you? Nikki Ackerman, where are you? Edward, I know where you are. And Rabia, I don't know where you are. Volmaranstadt, where even is that? Volmaranstadt, never heard of that. It sounds Northern Capish, but I could be guessing. So Nikki's in Gauteng, okay, so we do have a Cape Tonian there, Ellen. Gosh, isn't it wonderful that we can all sit together? One of the best things about lockdown and everyone going online. Edenvale, okay, my word. How fantastic, a group of people that would never otherwise have... Um, been sitting together on a on a random Sunday. 
Sure. How absolutely wonderful. Northwest province, okay. Shiraz Booley, no way, Nuertok. That is super cool. In my next life, I am going to be living in Nuertok or Komiki. I am so in love with Komiki and Nuertok. Wow, you lucky bum. <laughs> Listen, Stellenbosch isn't bad either, is it? It's wonderful. We are very, very spoiled to live in these beautiful places. Okay. So I hope that you can all come and join me again tomorrow, half past nine. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, wonderful joining like-minded people. Isn't it the best? Oh, so I will be in Nuertuk as soon as I can, as soon as I am, as soon as we released from this crazy lockdown. Um, yeah. All right. Everyone have a magnificent day. I hope that today brings you exactly what you need. Please send me questions and comments and try out stop during the week and let's check in tomorrow. All right. Bye everyone. Hello my baby. My new little rescue cat is joining me. He's joining us. What are you looking at? Are you very nervous? It's just a shadow, darling. <laughs> well, are you still there? Oh, he's gone. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye.